Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Cafe Storytime. Today, we shall be making some blueberry muffins while we read books and have fun. And I have a waitress here, and she's gonna do most of the cooking for us. And she might take an order or two, I don't know. But it is story time. It's Thursday, almost a Friday. And it's time to begin. So are you guys ready? Who's out there today? I think I've got Finn, hi Milo and Sam and Morgan. How are you guys doing? Geraldine and Ruby are here. I'm so glad. Genevieve. <laughs> Genevieve. What? Sorry. I'm sorry, Genevieve. My husband's handwriting. I have to show you guys. Look at that. How am I supposed to read that? <laughs> um, anyway, so Miss Rose, can you please start us out while we say our hello song? Rose is going to crack these eggs in here, and then she's going to pour all of them. The shells can stay here, and she's going to—that's not—and then she's going to pour in the oil and the water. And mm -hmm. Mix it up. So while we're waiting for that, let's do our hello friend song. You guys ready? We're going to say hello. Time. Hmm. Ready? One, two, three. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello again. Hello, friends. <clears throat> hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Hello, friends. I'm super glad you're here. Um, looks like Rose is doing okay here with these eggs. Let's see how that goes. How's it going? You might need to crack it. Crack an egg on it. Oh, you got it. That's all done. All right, keep going. I'm gonna open some hands. Yeah, no one really might know what that is. <laughs> okay, so to get ourselves warmed up today, we're gonna do um, a song called "Poppin' in the Pan." And yeah, the first. We've already done it. We've done it before, um, so you might remember it. First, we're gonna pop in the pan, then we're gonna wobble like jello, and then we're gonna melt like ice cream. If you guys haven't noticed, it's food day, so we are all about food today. All right, you ready? Everybody standing up, ready to pop in the pan? All right, one, two, three. We're pop pop popping in the pan. We're pop pop popping in the pan. We're pop pop popping in the pop pop popping in pop pop popping in the pan. All right, now we're gonna wobble. We're a jello wobbling on the plate. We're a jello wobbling on the plate. We're a jello wobbling and a jello wobbling. We're a jello wobbling on the plate. Okay, now we're going to be ice cream melting on the floor. You ready to melt? We're ice cream melting on the floor. We're ice cream melting on the floor. We're ice cream melting. We're ice cream melting. We're ice cream melting on the floor. Uh-oh, now what? We're going to pop in the pan! We're pop pop popping in the pan. We're pop pop popping in the pan. We're pop pop popping in the pop pop popping in the pop pop popping in the pan. All right. Okay, stir. stir. And you need to add oil and water. So you can pour that right in and stir it all together. Good morning. I've got Melody, Noelle, and Caleb, and Isaac. I'm glad to see you guys. Yes. So she's going to put in all of her oil while I get my ukulele. I don't mind if you 
I need to use mine or Nathan's? Okay, so hold on, let's see. You got the oil and you got the water. All right, now you got to put the mix. I'll take that away. Mm -hmm. Wait, hold on, careful here. Yeah, make sure Wait, all of it. All of it. Okay, just a Go little. for it. Here's a spoon. Wait, wait, where's the mixer? Well, why don't you use this? Well, you can use the mixer. Right here. <laughs> all right, give her a mix. Good job. from scratch here, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, so, are you guys ready for a story? If you're ready for a story, clap your hands, ready? If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, sit real still. If you're ready for a story, sit real still. If you're ready for a story, if you're yeah, ready I'll you for a story, do. Do if you're up. ready for a story, sit real still. I'm ready for a story. So good. That looks great, Rose. Now we got to add the blueberries. So now you're going to use that and this blue spoon. Oh, so I'm going to pour this into there and then pour that in. No, you'll just pour this into here, then all use this it? to mix all of it. <clears throat> Great. And now you want to gently fold it in so that the blueberries are mixed. And then you'll take your spoons and start filling the tins. You're pretty much there. And now we're going to read. So let's see. I think we should start with this one. It reminds me a bit of my daughter because she doesn't like tomatoes. <laughs> so I can relate. This is called I Will Never Not Ever Eat a Tomato by Lauren Child. Yep. I will never not eat it ever eat a tomato. Yes, I will. <clears throat> they never eat a tomato. I have this little sister, Lola. She is small and very funny. Sometimes I have to keep an eye on her. Sometimes mom and dad ask me to give Lola her dinner. <clears throat> this is difficult because she is a very fussy eater. Yep. <laughs> Lola won't eat carrots, of course. She says carrots are for rabbits. I say, what about peas? Lola says, peas are too small and too green. One day I played a good trick on her. Lola was sitting at the table waiting for her dinner and she said, I do not like peas or carrots or potatoes or mushrooms, or spaghetti, that doesn't make any sense, or eggs, or sausages. I do not eat cauliflower, or cabbage, or baked beans, or bananas, or oranges, or apples, or rice, or cheese, or fish sticks. And I absolutely will never, not ever, eat a tomato. My sister hates tomatoes. Wow, what does that leave for her to eat? Not a whole lot. And I said, that is lucky because we are not having any of those things. We are not going to eat any peas or carrots or potatoes or mushrooms or spaghetti or eggs or sausages. There will be no cauliflower or cabbage 
or baked beans or bananas or oranges. We don't have any apples or rice or cheese or fish sticks and certainly no tomatoes. She looks a bit suspicious, I think. Lola looked at the table. Then why are those carrots there, Charlie? I don't ever eat carrots. And I said, <clears throat> oh, you think these are carrots? These are not carrots. These are orange twiglets from Jupiter. They look just like carrots to me, said Lola. But how can they be not be carrots? But how can they be carrots, I said. Carrots don't grow on Jupiter. That's true, said Lola. Well, I might just try one if they're all the way from Jupiter. Hmm, not bad, she said, and took another bite. All right, see? If it comes from Jupiter, maybe she'll try. Then Lola saw some peas. I don't eat peas, <clears throat> said Lola. I said, these are not peas? Of course they are not. They are green drops from Greenland, and they are made out of green and fall from the sky. But I don't eat green things, Lola said. Did you see this little face in here? Definitely don't eat that pea. Oh, goody, I said. I'll have your share. Green drops are so incredibly rare. Well, maybe I'll nibble just one or two. Oh, said Lola, quite tasty. Next, Lola saw the potato. I will not eat potatoes, so don't even try. Not even mashed. Oh, this isn't mashed potato. People, people bless you. People often think that, but think that, but no. This is cloud fluff from the pointiest peak of Mount Fuji. Yes. Oh, said Lola. In that case, a large helping for me. I love to eat cloud. Charlie, she said. Those look like fish sticks to me, and I would never eat a fish stick. I know that. They're not fish sticks. These, these are ocean nibbles from the supermarket under the sea. Mermaids eat them all the time. Oh, I went to a supermarket one time with Mom. Yes, I know the ones. I think I've seen them before, Lola said, gobbling. Are there any more? Oh, it's okay. And then she said, Charlie, will you pass me one of those? And I said, what, one of those? What do you think it is? And Lola said, yes, Charlie, one of those. And I couldn't believe my ears because guess what she was pointing at? The tomatoes. And I said, are you sure? Really, one of these? And she said, yes, of course. Moon squirters are my favorite. <laughs> you didn't think they were tomatoes, did you, Charlie? Whoops. <laughs> so they've got a bowl of orange twiglets a bowl of moon squirters, a bowl of cloud fluff, a bowl of green drops, and some ocean nibbles. <laughs> Sounds like a good dinner to me. <laughs> is it making anybody else hungry out there? <laughs> so let's see how Rose is doing. Wow, okay. Looks like she's got, I'm gonna give a hand here and we're gonna quickly get these into the pot pan here so that we can, I know you are the lead chef here, but what we're gonna try to do is get these in the oven so that we'll see how they turned out before the end of story time. And then you guys will all wish you were here and you could have one. <laughs> but I'll eat them all, we'll eat them all <laughs> for you. <laughs> all right, just a few more. Do you guys do any cooking at home? Anybody like to do any cooking? What I don't like to do is the cleaning part. I'll be honest, what a mess. All right, you guys, this is looking pretty good. Whoa. Let's see here. Looking pretty good. All right. <clears throat> so the next song we're gonna sing is a really fun one that I learned from this great school, Earth Song Montessori here in Lexington. And it's all about going to the grocery store to get the things that you need. Wow, please don't pay attention to how sloppy this is. Let's put this in the oven and then we'll go on to the song. Um, in there. I like to put it on. Okay, thank you. That's much better. Okay, so Rose, can you join us for this song?
This song has so many parts that I need my notes. <laughs> All right. Do you remember this song, Rose? Yeah, I like it. We actually have songs. Yeah, we have. So, like I said, this is a song from that I learned when I was doing music at Earth Song Montessori, and it's called Corner Grocery Store. So let's all get in our cars. So you get in your car. Close the door. Shh. Hold on, I have a passenger who needs to get in the car first. Thank you. Oh boy. So we're gonna get in the car. And the carrot 
carrots. Grab the hat and wear it, okay? And the carrots, the carrots will grab a hat and wear it at the store. <laughs> at the store. That's <laughs> all the carrots. The carrots grab a hat and wear it at the core. <laughs> Grocery store. Yeah, I'm trying to take this seriously. <laughs> okay, the beat. Anybody eat beets out there? Well, they're stomping their feet. And the beets don't have any of those. We're stomping their feet at the store. At the store. And the beets, the beets. We're stomping their feet at the corner grocery store. Uh oh, gonna have to do something else now. Get on your knees. Because guess what? The cheese is walking on their knees. And the cheese, the cheese was walking on okay. their knees at the store. You do that, I'm gonna catch. At the store. We're on to you. And the cheese, the cheese, he can't find it fast enough. It was walking on their knees. Do not throw that cheese. At the corner grocery store. All right, now we're gonna stand up because the pears are climbing up the stairs. And the pears, the pears, we're climbing up the stairs at the store, at the store. And the pears, the pears, we're just climbing up the stairs at the corner grocery store. This is going forever, you guys. But the gummy bears, the bears, we're dancing on their chairs at the store, at the store. The gummy bears, the bears, we're dancing on their chairs at the corner grocery store. And the bread, the bread was lying down in bed at the store, at the store. And the bread, the bread was not... <laughs> Down in bed at the corner grocery store. Thank you for that improvisational. Alright, can we get ourselves together to read another book? What do you think? Should we check on the muffins? Let's see what's happening in the oven, guys. Something. Something's happening. I forgot to set the timer, so we'll just have to check in on them. Okay. So, here's a strange book about food that I found. I'll do that one last because it's a quick one. Okay, you'll have to have the chair down though. Four on the floor, girl. So this is an a, a interesting book about food that kind of reminds me of Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, but it's different. It's a new twist. So let's see. It's called June 29th, 1999 by David Wisner. It sounds pretty dramatic. Okay. Copyright 1992. The place is Hoho Cuss, New Jersey. The year is 1999. On May 11th, after months of careful research and planning, Holly Evans launches vegetable seedlings into the sky. She's come up with a contraption to launch these seeds. On May 18th, the young scientist reports on her experiment. Holly intends to study the effects of extraterrestrial conditions on vegetable growth and development. She expects the seedlings to stay aloft for several weeks before returning to Earth. Her classmates are speechless. <laughs> the date is June 29th, shortly after sunrise. A member of the Billings, Montana Moose Lodge, hiking through the Rocky Mountain, makes a startling discovery. Robert Bernabe is, the, is in daze when he returns to camp. All he can say for the next several hours is, Turnips! Turnips! All over the country, the skies fill with vegetables. I would not like that. Cucumbers circle Kalamazoo. 
Lima beans loom over Levittown. Artichokes advance on An Anchorage. Parsnips pass by Providence. And Broccoli lands with a big bounce in Holly Evans' backyard. It's as big as their house. In Ottawa, Iowa, Tony Kramer emerges from his barn and shouts for joy. At last, the blue ribbon at the state fair is mine. Look at that cabbage. The bunnies are like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By mid-afternoon, all vegetables float safely to the ground. Those are big peas. We could get what a surprise them. that would be. Except for the peppers. For some reason, they needed a little help. TV News Channel broadcast 24-hour coverage of the Airborne Vegetal Event. Cauliflower Carpets, California. Spinach Blankets, Greenwich. And Arugula Covers, Astambula. <laughs> Holly is puzzled. Arugula was not part of her experiment. So she doesn't understand. <laughs> the cover of the news said, 4,000-pound radish his fa with the face of Elvis. Vegetables become very big business. Peas from Peoria are shipped down the Mississippi to Mobile in exchange for eggplant. There goes the peas or green drops. Real estate booms in North Carolina. Avocados bolster Vermont's economy. I would love to be in an avocado that big. Potato land. Potato land is wisely abandoned. The Big Apple is renamed the Big Rutabaga. <laughs> Arugula, eggplant, avocado, and now rutabaga? As the list of vegetables that Holly did not plant grows longer, she concludes that the giant specimens are not the result of her experiment. More curious than disappointed, Holly asks herself, what happened to my vegetables? And whose broccoli is in my backyard? Good question, but I like how she's turned it into like a little tree house. A broccoli house. Oh! The place is the ionosphere. On June 29th, the Arcturian star cruiser Alua Borolis is touring its six planet in four days, and the captain had just pointed out that the fjords of Norway off the port side. <clears throat> in the galley, an assistant fry cook accidentally jettisoned the entire food supply. As their vegetables drifted toward a small blue planet below, everyone on board had the same thought. Where would their supper come from? Oh, so there goes all their vegetables down to earth. That explains it. Mega veg. Oh, but look, something has come up to them. It's her little experiment with all of her vegetables. <laughs> so they traded food with aliens. I mean, it's not exactly what I expected with this book, and I like it. <laughs> Because it's unexpected. That is a, <laughs> that's a fun book. Okay, check it and then we'll see if we have it wrecked it. Oh, it's getting there. They're getting bigger, guys. Okay, let's do another song. <clears throat> this is a funny song called Bananas Unite. Don't get the bananas. <laughs> no, no, I'm not getting the bananas. If you want the bananas, you have to come through the camera. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> He's going to get bananas. Really? Oh my gosh, what's happening in story time today? Oh, yes, bananas. Thank you. I'll hold those. <laughs> bananas unite. Okay. So here, first we're going to peel the banana. And so you're going to be a banana standing, and you're going to be up here like, do not do it. You're going to peel your banana. One side, then the other side. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, maybe in a minute. Quit breaking off one. So you're going to peel. Then you're going to chop. Then you're 
then you're gonna smash, and then you're gonna eat your banana. Okay, you guys ready? And then you're gonna go crazy. Where am I? You ready? So let's have our bananas up like this, Rose. <laughs> All right, peel bananas. Ready? One, two, three. Peel banana. Peel, peel banana. Peel. Banana, peel, peel, banana. Now we're gonna chop, chop, banana, chop, chop, banana, chop, banana, chop, chop, banana. Now we're gonna mash, mash, banana, mash, mash, banana, mash, banana, mash, mash, banana. Now we're gonna eat, eat, banana, eat, eat, banana, eat, banana, eat, banana. Eat, eat, banana. Go crazy! Crazy as a banana. Let's just do it again because it's fast. Ready? One, two, three. Peel, banana. Peel, peel, banana. Peel, banana. Peel, peel, banana. Chop, chop, banana. Chop, chop, banana. Chop, banana. Chop, chop, banana. Mash, mash, banana. Mash, mash, banana. Mash, banana. Mash, mash, banana. Eat, eat. Banana, eat, eat, banana, eat, banana, eat, eat, banana, go bananas! Yay, that's my banana song. Wait, 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 look, look, look. Very good, okay. All right. Ring, 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 ring. Here's an important call. Hello? Yeah? Mm -hmm. So, okay, yeah, we'll check them. Yeah. Okay, top secret story time stuff? Cool. All right. I won't tell anybody. Don't worry. Okay. All right. Bye. Okay, good. I'm glad we got that done. Last book, guys. This one is called Fast Food. I think this is an adorable book. And I think you guys will enjoy it, too. Fast Food by Saxton Feynman and Juiced, Juiced Elfers. This is all a book using real food. <laughs> the mushrooms might be the best part of it. If I had mushrooms, I would have attempted to make one of these, but my mushrooms are currently chopped. Fast food, written and illustrated by Saxton Freeman. <clears throat> Your feet can walk and run and skip. But are they best for every trip? With skates, a walk can become a glide. A skateboard can extend your stride. Need something you can hold on to? A scooter might be right for you. All right, those are like little blackberries under his. <laughs> if you cannot walk about, a wheelchair here can help you out. Pedal hard aboard a bike. Add a wheel and it's a trike. That's the coffee, guys. Turn it off. Down snowy hills, you'll need some skis. Bundle up so you don't sneeze. Ice skates are for crossing ice. But on the snow, a sleigh is nice. Aww. <laughs> it's a little cauliflower with a radish hat and a pear on green beans. Getting pulled by a ginger root. Sometimes you'll want to travel far. Maybe then you'll choose a car. It might be wise if more of us would ride together. In a bus. <laughs> uh, that's adorable. Look at their noses. If you have heavy loads to haul, a truck will help you move them all. A fire truck speeds toward a fire full of heroes who inspire. But fire trucks, trucks can't hesitate when sirens wail. Please stop and wait. Trains speed along, click, clack, click, clack. All of the stations on the track. It's carved out. How is that guy even going to fit in there? You'll bend. 
You're just gonna have to bend. Yeah, here we go. On water, it is best to float, so climb aboard your favorite boat. Some move by motors, some by rowing. How is he even rowing that boat? He's just. He just. I want to know what they're in. Are they in like jelly? It looks like cr canned cranberry sauce. <laughs> some only when the wind is blowing. Oh look. If there's no rush, there's nothing finer than cruising on an ocean liner. Hey, look, it's a watermelon Titanic. <laughs> Want to see the ocean floor? A submarine lets you explore. Oh, I'm doing that backwards. To travel far and fast, you fly in an airplane through the sky. <laughs> a helicopter chops the air. It hovers and lands anywhere. Go by blimp or by balloon, or take a rocket past the moon. <laughs> I like that. It's like an onion ring around uh, something. I don't even know what that is. By foot on wheels, by air or sea, I hope that soon you'll visit me. Oh, look at the grass. It's broccoli. And isn't that mushroom cute? The bus is there, the boat is there with the strange, mysterious jelly stuff. Okra. Look at that. I would I would imagine that this must have been a very fun book to put together. <laughs> I mean, how many things can you make out of food? Red cabbage sea. Is that what is it cooked red cabbage, do you think? Oh, oh, it is red cabbage. Thank you for solving my mis Oh, it's totally. <laughs> That's funny. I didn't see that. Awesome. Yeah, this is a fun book. I challenge you guys to see what kind of... <laughs> to play with your food at home. <laughs> see what kind of stuff you can make. Just kidding. Check again. Just kidding. Okay, check it. Let's see. Are they ready? <gasps> They're ready. It's a good thing you're on the, on the ball, Rose, because... Oh, no. Any longer, these would have been... Oh, that was close, guys. There it is. We have made blueberry muffins that are on the edge of maybe being overcooked. That sounds about right for my life. That one looks good. <laughs> yeah, I can have that one. I think it looks good. I think we're all right. I think we did six, you know, successfully made muffins during story time. I can't believe it. So let's see if we can make a storm before we say goodbye. Oh, so we're inside the cafe and then a storm happens. Yeah, so we hear it on the outside. But first, the wind starts to blow. The power went out. Our power did go out yesterday. I don't know if anybody else's did. Just very briefly, but it did. Wind. Wind. Oh, I'm starting to hear the rain. Hey, you guys. Tap on your legs. Make some rain. Make it rain. Make it rain. Oh, it's getting dark. slowing down and we're going to see if it can all calm and let's see if we can find our calm too. You ready? And look, it stopped. Okay, it's still. Very nice. You guys, it's been an interesting story time. Thank you for your patience and we will report back on how the muffins turned out. I'm sorry I can't share them with you. I, I really wish I could. <laughs> and... One other thing, uh, for kids out there who like photography, starting to, today I'm going to announce a new photography club, which has got some interesting, fun things coming up for some kids who like to do photos on their parents' phones, just saying. <laughs> um, <clears throat> okay, so 
Thank you for joining us. Tomorrow is Friday, and I'm not. A, and we hope to see you there. And thank you, thank you, and Rose. I think we're gonna close the shop up now. It's time to get on the goodbye train made of zucchini. <laughs> Let's get on that zucchini, zucchini train. You ready? All aboard! All aboard! Mm -hmm. oh, the goodbye train is leaving. See ya soon. <laughs> choo, choo. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. See ya soon. Choo, choo. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. The goodbye train is leaving. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. See ya soon. Choo, choo.